No, that's crap. Um, I can see you still thinking about your No, I don't care. What, my belly? No. I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and whatnot uh, on my videos, because just lately, I have transitioned from uh, split finger to three under, and I've also started using um, a tab instead of a glove, uh, albeit temporarily. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about split finger, um, three under, tabs versus gloves, uh, uh, and the like. Um, but yeah, people are very concerned saying, oh, you're shooting three under using a tab, you're no longer instinctive, which is, is nonsense. Um, I can only really shoot instinctively. I, I know how to gap. I know how to string walk. I can't do either of them. Uh, my mind doesn't work that way. I don't have what I would call a maths brain. I can't, I can't judge distance. Um, I'm shocking. So the only way I can really shoot is instinctively. Um, and that's, that's what I've done. I'm a one trick pony. I don't claim to be anything else. Um, so yeah, I, ju I just wanted to address the fact that, yeah, I'm shooting in a slightly different way, but that doesn't mean I'm not shooting instinctively. Um, the reason why I have decided to shoot uh, three under uh, for the time being, and it's, it's going back to three under. That's how I started shooting three under. Um, before I got into any of this, I used to shoot with a tab and I used to shoot three under. It's just how, I came to it, that's what I did when I first picked up the bow and I kind of stuck with it. It was only about seven or eight years ago I decided to, to go to um, Split Finger. It's been a good day. I've been struggling a bit with, uh, some, some of you know I'm, I'm changing from three under to Split Finger. Um, I've shot three under for, for years and years and it's, it's difficult to change. But. And that was kind of like learning to shoot all over again. Uh, although uh, beneficial, I think, it didn't make that much of a difference to my accuracy. Um, it's just something I, I, I felt I should have tried. But there really is, if you want to shoot three under, it's absolutely fine. You shoot three under. If you want to shoot split finger, you shoot split finger. It's absolutely fine to do either. And there's no real massive amount of uh, negative to one or the other. I, the only one I can think of really is that a lot of bows off the shelf are tillered for split finger. Um, so if you're shooting them split finger, you're going to get, uh, they're going to be slightly um, more optimized for shooting that way. But it really doesn't matter. You're still going to shoot just as well um, three under uh, as you would a, um, a tillered for a, for a split finger bow. But anyway, that mean, the, the reason why I have gone back to shooting uh, three under is, um, I don't know if you know anything about me, but uh, I own uh, the company Grizzly Strings. Uh, we make traditional uh, bow strings. And so far, I've personally handmade over 2,600 strings so far this year. And it has really done a number on my hands. Uh, I get a lot of pain in my hands. I get very sore very quickly. Um, so yeah, it, it, it does take its toll. If anyone who's ever made a traditional bowstring, if you've made two or three in a day, your hands get sore. I'm, you know, I'm making loads and it's, it's, it's not pleasant, but yeah, I'm still persevering, uh, still cracking on with them. But the, I decided uh, that I would try shooting uh, three under. I don't know why, I was just out in the woods with my buddy John and I thought, I'm gonna try shooting uh, three under. And I did, and for the first time in months, I didn't have any pain while I was shooting. This was back in May. Um, so yeah, I, I shot uh, I shot three under for, for half a day and I was pain free and it was really quite, quite comfortable. So I decided to persevere with it and shot three under and I shot three under uh, when I went to the gathering. And that was, that was quite pleasant. It didn't hurt my hands as much. So I, I've kind of stuck with it. I mean, my plan is to go back to split finger eventually, um, but, but for the time being, while my hands are, are kind of sore, I'm finding uh, 300 really comfortable. So shooting 300 for a bit, I sort of transitioned as well from a glove to a tab. Now, the reason why I did that, um, I find with a glove, I can never find a glove that's thick enough and I can never really find a glove that fits me as well as I want to. Um, I might go down the custom route at some point, but off the shelf gloves, uh, off the shelf gloves, they're never uh, as reinforced as I'd like and they never fit the way I really want them to. So I always end up reinforcing the, um, uh, the, the, the fingers on a glove. Doing that makes the fingers quite difficult to bend and it's quite difficult to get a really deep hook on the string. And obviously the deeper the hook you have on the string, the less strain you have on your hand. Um, I find personally, 
If I've got too much pressure on the, just the very tips of my finger, it's actually very difficult to release the tension from your hand and get a smooth release. Um, so I found that if I was using a tab, I could get a much deeper hook on the string, therefore relieving the pressure from my hand and making a smoother release, um, a, a more controlled smoother release. And that's just me. That's just the way I found it. That's not necessarily the way that you're going to do it. That's not necessarily the way the next guy's going to do it. All the advice I give you, is, it's all personal. It's all everything that I found out myself. Um, archery is, I've said it before, archery is a journey you've got to take yourself. You've got to, you've got to try these things. You've got, to, you've got to travel your own path and find what works for you. Um, but I personally found if I was using a tab, I could get a much deeper hook on the string and get a much smoother, cleaner release. Now, personally, I actually prefer a glove. Um, but like I say, it's difficult to find a glove that, that actually works for me. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm using a tab as well at the moment. Um, like I said before, it, it's ruffled a few feathers. People seem to think you can't shoot instinctively with a tab um, or, or three under. You can shoot in whichever way you please um, and whichever gives you personally the best results. Right now, for me, and um, the way I'm shooting, the way my hands are, shooting three under with a, with a tab is, is helping me out. Um, the benefits of using a tab three under is you get a much, much smoother release. Um, if you think about it, a tab such as, um, you've got an old Black Widow here tab, you've got three separate layers, uh, all independent of each other. They're not stuck together. They're three independent layers that sort of uh, are on top of each other. Now, as they bend, they move independently over each other causing a much smoother release where if you've got a glove like this one which i've reinforced uh, with some leather in there that doesn't bend very well it's a really stiff kind of bend you can't bend it around the string as much so therefore you're not going to get as smooth a release as having something layered on top of each other that's just something i found but yeah when you start now you can shoot three under you can shoot with the tab you can shoot with the glove find what works for you and apply that to the way that you want to shoot don't be dictated to by someone else about what you should and shouldn't be doing. Archery is definitely all about what works for you. Yes, there are certain categories within certain organizations that limit you to either shoot split finger or three under. Um, then you have to sort of make sort of some considerations. But for the most part, just shoot in a way that is most enjoyable for you. Shoot in a way that gives you the biggest smile. And um, yeah, that's about it really. I've, I've rambled on anyway, uh, <laughs> talking about tabs and gloves. But I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about why I'm personally shooting three under. Um, I get every, every video I do, I get a lot of comments about, about that. So I thought I'd, I'd, I'd just address it in a video. Um, but we're losing the light now. And we, we're sort of well into uh, November now. So, um, but yeah, we've got plenty more stuff coming up. Got a couple of bow reviews, um, got a couple of strikers, got a a couple of bows from South Africa that I'm uh, going to be looking at. So yeah, it should be, uh, should be a good old time this winter, providing it doesn't get too cold. But anyway, you take care, shoot straight, and I shall see you on the internet. Bye-bye.